So far in this chapter we've seen the single shot editing options as well as the creation and deletion of a version set. In this video we're going to take a look at the guided edit mode. Now first of all, what's the guided edit mode for and what can I do with it? Well we're working through this series in a sensible learning order because after you've familiarised yourself with the organiser the next logical step is to explore the guided edit mode. The reason for that is all in its simplicity to use. Every last adjustment that's possible inside of it is set up in such a way that the user is completely guided and prompted through every last click. For that reason alone you're going to see some of Element's power and also some of its multi-step functions in a simple and easy to use fashion so let's get started. I want you to ensure that you're in the organizer by clicking the organize button and then scroll down to somewhere near halfway and I want you to select the image right here of a wooden footbridge in London and make sure you've clicked it to activate it and then come up here to the little arrow icon next to the fix button and I want you to click it and choose guided photo edit. If everything's running correctly you'll see the Photoshop Elements editor opening up on screen before you for the first time in this series I might add and that's because the guided edit mode and the quick edit mode for that matter exist inside the full editor. You should also see the image we selected follow us into this workspace and present itself on the screen before us. Now let's check out what's going on here. We see the image in the editing module and then below that we see the project bin that contains all the active or selected images in this project. If we had selected multiple images a few moments ago before coming in to the guided edit mode then they would all appear down here and we would be able to click on them to switch to them in the window up here. On the left side we see some tools available and then on the right side we see our available guided edits. Also see that above the guided edits we have our editor navigation controls. So here we can switch between the guided mode that we're currently in, the quick edit mode which we'll be looking at next and the full edit mode which we'll be seeing in future chapters. We also have the ability to switch between editing, creating and sharing for the record. Now let's take a look at how some of these guided edits might work. We're not going to be doing anything meaningful in this video, I'll be demonstrating this in the next chapter, but I do want to give you a sense for how it works. Let's say I want to make this image more colourful, because at the moment the colours are very drab and muted. I can come down here to the colour correction tab and then choose the enhance colours option. Now I'm getting guided through any changes I may want to make to the image. So for instance I'm being told to click the auto button to automatically fix the colours in the image. Trouble is I want to have a go at this myself so I'll visit these sliders down here and again it's telling me how these things work. So do I want to affect the hues in the image? Well as it says here that's going to change the colours in the image. Well I don't actually want to do that, I don't want to change the colours. So let's have a look at the saturation option that changes the intensity of colour. That's exactly what I want. So let's move this slider around and you can see that by moving the saturation around I'm either increasing or decreasing the intensity of colour inside of the photograph. And really that's what I wanted to show you. It's how easy and intuitive these features are. I think it's a, a really great way to introduce new people to the world of digital image editing and this mode is a real asset to the software. Now as far as the preview goes, if I can't see what I'm doing, I can either zoom into the image or zoom away from it. I can do that by either coming down to this zoom button and clicking on it to reveal a slider. Now I can just drag the slider around to either zoom in or out. We can also drag the image around by just dragging it with the hand tool, which if it isn't working for you, can be activated from the toolbox here on the left side of the screen. We'll be looking at zooming and panning in more detail in a couple of videos time but for now I'm going to click the council button to avoid saving those changes 
and return to the guided edit mode. Hopefully that's given you a good idea of what the guided edit mode can do. We'll be coming back in the next chapter to do some real work in this workspace, but coming up next we're going to have a look at the quick edit mode.